Hey guys, what is up? I hope everybody has been having a great day. Super excited to be bringing you probably one of the most anticipated courses you guys have wanted me to do in my vlog series. This is the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail at Ross Bridge. Um, this is the longest golf course in the United States of America. And in fact, I've been told that there's never been a confirmed under par round shot from the, eight, the, the tips, which is 8,200 yards. Um, Definitely not anticipating that today. I'm gonna to play my best. The rating on this course is a 70, almost a 79, and it's 47 degrees. <laughs> so in wet, in wet. So this is probably playing close to 8,500 yards for me today. Um, if I can break 80, I'll be very happy. This is definitely an absolute beast of a course. Beautiful course. Definitely come check it out. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. This is the first hole, 620 yards be trying to cut it just around that bunker right there with a, a baby fade my driver and uh, see if we can get this off to a good start. All right guys, here's my drive. Absolutely melted it. And those pitch marks and small rollouts are definitely gonna be a theme today. This place was pounded with rain uh, last night. So it's very damp, as I said, in the tee back there. So that will be making this course even longer. So I hit, the tee was back there. I hit a nice little cut, pretty much right to here. So I have 264 yards left. The flag is right there in the center, little yellow dot right there. Going with a three iron. I should be able to get it there. If not, I'll have a very easy chip and see if we can get this round started with a four. All right, so guys, in case you're wondering how wet it is, I was hitting from back there, that's the flag, pulled it a bit left, and there she is. So that was a three iron. I mean, guys, that ball is buried. So I'm gonna obviously take my relief, but it is absolutely soaked, which is fine. I can stop it a little quicker on the greens. So I'm pin high about 30 yards away and probably gonna play a bit of a bump and run with my 54 degree wedge and uh, see if we can make it four. All right, guys, so that was a great start. Made it four, really nice up and down. And also, just so you guys know, I will always keep my relation to par on the screen after each hole, but I'm probably not gonna refer to a birdie or a par or bogey too much because, and you can skip through this part if you guys don't wanna hear this, but I know some people watch because they wanna maybe get help and tips in golf. I've always found that par or relation to par can kind of throw you off and make you psyched out a little bit. I played with Justin Thomas about a week ago at the Grove 23 Michael Jordan's course. Watched him play, and he was obviously phenomenal. And I said, dude, you just shot eight under today, 64 after round. You know, you know what he said? He said, oh, cool. That's pretty cool. So he had no clue what his score was. I think a lot of pros don't keep a running total of their score in their, their head. So I will obviously, when I edit the video, put the score in relation to par, because I know a lot of you guys want to watch that for the value entertainment of that. But I'm not going to refer to pars or birdies or bogeys. I just want to refer to good shots, good holes, bad holes, and just kind of have my mentality be like that. I think it'll help me score a lot better and keep me from psyching myself out when I'm playing well or playing poorly. So good hole, on to the next hole. 467 yard par four. You can see the plate right there. And uh, definitely pretty far downhill. So um, probably going to hit driver. Not positive, but probably. Just see how far the end of the fairway is. And yeah, let's see if we can uh, keep playing well. Well, there is my ball. Push it a bit to the right. The flagstick is kind of like in that direction right there. 
175. Definitely making this hole very long by pushing out to the right. I do have a pretty sizable window, so I can definitely still get this on the green at the very least. Probably gonna go with a five or six iron, just kind of hit a chip cut, and just try to run it on the green. Any shot on the green is gonna be a huge success. Even around the green, I'll be okay with. So let's see if we can recover. All right, so I definitely didn't think enough about hitting it high enough. That would have had a good line, caught those little branches under, under there. It did squeeze through, so probably gonna have about 125 yards left. See if we can save par still. So unfortunately not the best hole there. As you guys can see, these greens are also aerified, but they honestly roll pretty smoothly for aerified greens, so they'll just be a bit slower, I guess, which is all right with me. So now onto the next hole, hole three, 470 yard par four. It's gonna be probably a shortest par four for this vlog, so just buckle in. So uh, gonna be hitting driver, probably start it maybe right at that little tree line right there, let it fade to the right a bit and uh, try to get myself set up for an approach into the screen. All right, so I definitely pushed that to the limit. Look where my ball is here, look how narrow my fairways, you can see my ball right in the middle there. This is right there. And probably should have laid back to right there, but I'll take it right there. Look how cavernous this course is. I mean, it's just massive. This is this is an absolute beast. I mean, I've, I've heard this is one of the longest car rides in the country as well. So this will be a fun round. I'm really hoping you guys are enjoying it so far. Um, but yeah, let's see if we can make a birdie. Oh. I remember, I, I, let's, see, let's see if we can make it three. Once again, not a lot of roll. So that's gonna be a common theme. 117 left, gonna be hitting a 48 degree wedge. Just try to flight it in there, knock it close. All right guys, so walking up, had a really good wedge shot in there. Looks like I got about right around 10 feet, and uh, so this would be a really nice three. Definitely gonna be moving a little bit right to left, so let's see if we can make it. Well, that stings. That was perfectly red. Just, uh, I gotta really get it in my head. These greens are gonna be slower because of the, um, of the airification. Man, that was money, except I left it short. One way to guarantee you will not make a putt is leave it short. So, on to the next hole. All right, guys, so on hole four, 231 yard par three into the wind a little bit. I'm gonna be hitting a four iron, try to bring it in a bit from the right, see if we can knock it close. All right guys, I hit a pretty good shot in there. Actually landed a little bit long, but uh, rolled back off the half pipe. Not sure if you can see it right there, but probably have about 25, 30 feet, which when you're hitting a shot from 235 into a headwind from in 40 degree weather, that's definitely a very good shot. So let's see if we can make the putt.
All right, so that was a really good three. Really thought I had a two there for a second. But it is what it is on hole five, 470 yard par four. Gonna be just trying to fit it in between those bunkers and leave myself a short iron or a wedge in. All right guys, so there's my ball right there. Pretty good spot. Got 143 left, can be hitting a flight of nine on in there and just try to cut it through this wind. All right guys, so a bit long and left, but not a terrible shot. Definitely have a pretty easy putt going back up the hill. So, just off the green here. See if I can make it. So that was another really solid hole. Another really good four. Onto the next hole, par three. 193 yards, the flag way up in the front. Gonna bring it in with an eight iron, just kind of nice little draw and see if we can knock it close. So that was a really good up and down. Really happy with two threes on the front nine par threes here. These, these par threes are beasts and you can probably tell I'm a little winded. I mean, this course is just huge. The amount of steps you must log playing this course, I don't even know. So on uh, the next hole, par five, says it's 619 yards in that plate. Maybe I mean try to play a bit of a fade, get down that fairway a little bit and see if we can set ourselves up for a chance to reach in two. All right guys, so there's my drive. Hit a really good drive there. Bit of a baby fade right where I wanted it. Gonna have about 270 left, right around that neighborhood. Probably gonna rope it in with, well probably gonna cut it in because of this, this hook this slice lie with a three iron. See if we can knock it on in two. All right guys, this is insane. I thought I had an absolutely perfect shot there. I landed on the green. Look where I am. That's my ball. That, that was off a cliff. That's unbelievable. So I got a really tough recovery shot. Can still make a four. Let's see if we can get up and down. Just so you guys have a point of reference, my pitch mark is right around there, and it rolled down here and down all the way to there. So that was a good five. I'm telling you guys, this course, I'm out of breath, getting beaten up left and right. I'm playing great. This course is a beast. All right, guys. So no let up here. On to the next hole, hole eight, 502 yard par four. Basically just want to melt it down to that fairway there. 
obviously we will be hitting driver. All right, guys, so that was beat. That was one of my best drives all day. Got 130 left. This ball right there, flag's in the back left. Gonna try to filter it in there with a 48 degree wedge. All right, guys, so a really good shot here. Probably about 15 feet left, so this would definitely be a good three here. So let's see if we can make it. Well, that's things. Um, again, left it short in the jaws. Got to start hitting the putts firmer. It is what it is. No let up here onto a 518 yard par four as if that last one wasn't long enough. Just look at the size of this place. I mean, it's unbelievable. So I'm gonna be trying to hit a baby fade just around that bunker and get in a good position. Guys, so here's my ball, just short of those bunkers. See the pin back there, 183, keep hitting a nine iron. All right guys, there's my ball right there. Got about 25, 30 feet to make my three. All right guys, now on hole 10. A bit of a disappointing four there, but you know, it's 500 plus yard holes, so that's not a bad number. On a hole 10, 477 yard par four. And uh, yeah, gonna be hitting a bomb through that little chute right there. All right guys, here's my ball. Got a little bit through the fairway. Didn't realize it cut that much that way, so I definitely would have played a bigger cut if I knew that was there. Regardless, in the rough, not a bad spot. I do have some trees to contend with here. We can see the pin right in the middle of those trees. Probably gonna fashion a bit of a draw um, with a pitching wedge. It should go up there. It should have enough uh, distance um, to get up there if it's a draw, so that's what we'll be doing. I guess so there it is. We're a little bit long, but we can definitely still get up and down. Just gotta hit a quality bunker shot. 58 degree, let's go. Alright guys, so not the best hole, but moving on hole 11, 235 yard par 3, pin is tucked in the back left corner, gonna be going with a 6 iron, just try to rope it in from the right.
Hey guys, there's where I hit it. It's the hole. See, I pulled it a bit left, but see if I can get up and down the 62 degree wedge. Now that is a good shot right there. All right guys, that sucked. I'm not gonna lie. That was probably one to hit, just a misread. That's just gonna happen sometimes. So, on hole 12, 454 yards. She can play baby feed into that fairway. So as you can see, not a lot of roll. I have 107 yards left, gonna be hitting a 54 degree wedge. Just try to bring it in from the right and knock it close. So not the worst shot, a little bit short, but kind of tough to tell how much uphill it is from there. About about 20 feet up the hill. See if we can can a three. All right guys, so great three there. It really feels nice to make a long putt. Been knocking on the door for those putts all day, so probably got one to fall. And here we go. You read that right, 698 yard par five. In 45 degree weather, that's long. So it's gonna be trying to play fade, put it on that fairway, and uh, let's tackle this hole. Guys, there's a tee right there. Missed it a bit to the right, but um, definitely not in terrible shape here in play, that's important. Pin is all the way down there. Honestly, honestly, uh, I'm just gonna give it what I got and see how close I can get it down there. All right, guys, that was a horrible shot. Self, note to self, never try to hit a draw with a club that's set up to hit cut shots off of a slice slide. Not a good idea. So I got 115 left, and this is my situation here. That's the hole right there. Gonna have to hit it over that tree right there. Probably 58 degree wedge, maybe 62 full, and I think we'll be all right. Well, that sucked. That was a perfect shot. It caught one tiny little um, pine, pine, pine limb, and that thing absolutely assassinated it, and it just was dead after that. So, still got about 40 yards left. See if we can get up and down. All right guys, so that was a not a good hole. It is what it is, this course will beat you up. This is not easy. So we have 219 on this hole, hole 14 I believe, and probably gonna hit an eight, maybe seven, we'll see. But pin is on the right center, so let's see if we can knock it close.
Well guys, that was right at it. I was giving it the eye and one club too short. Luckily, I did stay up on the bank. I did drive up and see it. So I can still get up and down, but man, that one stung. I thought that was gonna be three feet away. So, see if we can get up and down. All right, so that's a really good three there. I actually saw the pitch mark. That landed on the fringe and spun back and just barely stayed up. So I'll take that three any day of the week. Now on to the next hole, 458 yards. Gonna be taking it just at that bunker, the baby fade. And let's get it. All right guys, so we got another plugger. Look at that. Just so you can see how deep that is in the ground. This is a wet course and it is a long course and it is a cold course. So this has been brutal. So let's keep it rolling. So we got 135 left, 48 degree wedge. Gonna bring it from the right and let's see if we can knock it close. All right guys, so that was a really good shot there. A little short, but not terrible from 135. Got about 15 feet left, a little right to left. Would love to can this one. All right guys, so another ho-hum four. And uh, just a little mystery there, stroke was good. So now to the next hole, 571 yard par five. First hole all day, that's probably not gonna feel super long. So let's give it a rip with the driver. All right, guys, so here's the situation. I have about 215 in my ball. It's about 200 here, but my ball's back there. So probably gonna hit a seven or six iron, go at the hill and just try to hit a bit of a hold off cut right at the flag. All right guys, that's one of the best shots I've hit in a while. Not in the green, but that was a very awkward shot from like 225. A bit short, but I will not complain about where that ball went. All right guys, that was an awesome four. Really great all around. Nice to make a four on that hole. On hole 17, another 500 plus yard hole. Gonna be starting just right at that fairway bunker and playing a bit of a fade. All right guys, that was a perfect drive. Just a little pitch mark right there. 152, this pin's in the right center. Sorry about getting a bit dark, it's starting to get a bit dark, but we should be able to get it in. Playing great, feeling good. Love how I'm hitting it, so let's hit another good shot. Probably gonna hit a sawed off nine iron in this hole. All right guys, so not a terrible shot. Had a great line. Ball's right there. Just a bit long, about 25, 30 feet. Let's see if we can make it through. All 
All right, guys, here we are. Final hole, it's getting dark. Let's finish this strong, okay? We got hole 18, 487 yards. You can see all that water. Gonna be starting it right there with a bit of a fade. Let's get this in the fairway. All right, guys, so here's where I ended up. Pulled it a bit, just inside the car path. If you guys can see it, that's the green way out there. I definitely have a long shot in. About 2.30 left. Gonna be going out with a seven iron, see if we can knock it close and finish this round strong. All right guys, that had a great line, but unfortunately, temperatures are falling. Got a lot of spin on it, so it spun up a bit. So I am a bit short right here. It pins up there, so I have a 54 degree. So we'll try to get up and down to get a four. All right guys, so that was a little disappointing, but honestly, probably one of the best rounds of golf I've had on this channel. I am super excited to see how a lot of my game is coming together. Putting feels great, could have easily shot three or four shots better, just getting a couple better breaks on the greens, because these were airified. So I was making some great putts, just leaving a couple of them in the jaws, that will be fixed very quickly. My long game feels awesome. I really didn't hit a single horrendous drive all day. Hit a couple that weren't great, but I never got in serious trouble. Guys, this course is a monster. I mean, it was car path only, so I probably walked 15,000 steps with a cart and I'm exhausted. This course is unbelievably beautiful, monstrous. So definitely check it out. And if you dare play the tips, it's 8,200 plus yards. And it was 46 degrees today at best. So I grinded. I'm really excited about where my game's going. Keep smashing that subscribe button and I will keep putting out these 18 hole videos. So that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.